Okay, I'm here with Tony, one of the marshals at the uh, Kip 500, and he's shown me basically a top wire box. Um, right, Greg, um, dead simple. That goes around your handlebars. Road book goes in there. Tighten it all up, make sure it doesn't move about. In terms of the road book itself, um, very simple. Straight on, left, right. That's a cattle grid. They're trees. That's a gate. First of all, I want to say thank you to every single one of you for becoming a Rally Moto member. Every single one of you guys today has helped make this happen. But the rally organisers doing the briefing. It's a really important part. It's where all the safety stuff is said. Everyone's got to be here. Uh, it's a really impressive gaggle of bikes here today. It looks uh, really smart. So the point that uh, Bert is making there is that it's not a race. All the speeds are kept down um, and it's about accuracy, not, not, uh, not speed, which is important. Big bikes, people haven't really ridden this kind of terrain that much before, going in uh, forest tracks, um, it takes the pressure off. to you. Well Greg, we were riding along a twin track, I was a little bit behind you on the opposite side, you hit a perfect puddle of what can only be described as shit, uh, which then literally all of it lifted and sprayed itself perfectly like a comedy moment all over everything. I'm going to smell, look at that, <laughs> for the rest of the day. So it's interesting, just like a few miles in, like there's a lot a lot to process. I, at the start I was like, it's going to be really easy, like but actually, um, yeah, uh, you, you've got, if you've not done it before and nothing's natural, like you're looking down, you're looking at this box, you're, looking, you're trying to remember to wind it on, checking the trip meter, and then obviously you've got to look where you're going. <laughs> so, so what happened? Oh, uh, a little bit too fast. <laughs> <laughs> like him. <laughs> oh God. So what, did you, was it that corner? Yeah, come round the corner, just on the soft bit into the mud. All right, but you're you're all right. Yeah, you? smashing. Yeah, Five times yeah. British champion. I do believe in different events. <laughs> well, in mud, 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 mud snorkeling. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Turns out the puddle after the puddle is the deeper puddle. <laughs> I'm soaked. That was so funny to see. 
<laughs> it was so funny. It was like a bow wing about eight feet tall in front of you. It just went like a huge sheet of water. <laughs> that was so funny. It looked so shallow. <laughs> Missed my turn, bollocks. <laughs> it was on the road. Do you know what it is, Dave? Right? It's because I know this road and I know where this road goes. And I was just like, so yeah, uh, I might have messed up our chances of winning the day a little bit. We're doomed, Greg. We're doomed. You ruined it all. I'm going home now. <laughs> Not doing it anymore. Yeah, so I basically should have turned right and I went straight on. Oh dear. And there was someone else following us as well, so it kind of goes to show you that you've got to ride your own route, not the person in front of you. Okay, so we're now at the bit, at the junction that I should have taken. So on the map, it's now reading that the, the paperwork is correct, but now my trip meter is out because I've gone too far and turned around and come back. So I've set this up so I can manually adjust this with my, uh, by tapping. Oh, I can use my E-Touch climb gloves. <laughs> right, so it should read 75.35. So if I go down. thirty-five. So hopefully that will have us back on track. He went the right way. <laughs> Looks like you're not the only one, Greg. <laughs> That's just about everybody's gone <laughs> the wrong way. There's one point today where I was getting a bit hot, but I'm not hot anymore. <laughs> and why is that, Greg? <laughs> Bleeping raining. <laughs> not a lot, just that like fine, more fumbling, light, just drizzle. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I'll put my, uh, my warmer gloves on. But we made it to the castle. How have you found it, Dave? So I've been quite lucky, really, because this is your first event and you're obviously making a film and you're navigating. I can kind of sit behind. And so um, my bike's probably a little bit more capable on the off-road stuff than yours, so I'm not pushing as hard. Which means I've had a really great opportunity to look at the views, and they have just been absolutely mind-blowing. I'm really, I'm really enjoying it now. You can really tell like you relax into it and you kind of know what to ignore. Like, oh, it's straight line, straight line, straight line. So I can ignore all that for a bit. And I've got four kilometers till so I need to kind of change direction. And uh, yeah, I, and then your pace picks up. It's, it's really fun, it's great. Uh, it's like, it's like, what can I do on a motorbike that's new, <laughs> you know? And uh, yeah, I've never done this before and it kind of, it's not about speed, it's just a, it's, it's a different kind of, it's a different motorcycling experience. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's great and I'm blocking the way. <laughs> How did you find the, the roadbook navigation? Uh, I'm fairly confident with Nav in principle, but this is my first time doing a, uh, doing a roadbook. Um, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Uh, it makes a lot of sense actually. Once you start getting into it, you realise actually it's um, yeah, it's good. It's confidence inspiring. It's, it's a challenge. Not one thing is necessarily all that difficult. So riding the bike off road, it's a challenge, but it's all right. Navigating is a challenge, but it's all right. Combine the two together, and you've, you've got to think on your feet and get ahead of the game. And you, you can't lose concentration really. And um, then you make a mistake. And uh, and what are you riding? Uh, I'm on the new uh, GS1250. Um, it was brand new until I threw it 
on the ground yesterday. <laughs> but that's what they're designed for. So um, yeah, now she's got some battle scars. Doing well. And uh, yeah, how did you, you find this bike on the terrain? Um, uh, the I would say it's about, this is about as technical as I would probably want to do on a bike this size. It's big, it's heavy, it's got the power, it's got the grunt, I've got some good tyres on it. Um, the Motors tractionators which are, which are brilliant. Um, but I don't think I'd want to do anything more technical than this. This is, this is spot on for these bikes, it's a good challenge. Alright guys, so we were out yesterday. You've got pretty uh, different bikes, what are you riding? Uh, Ducati Scrambler. Ducati, yeah. What, what, one in standard drives with um, <laughs> mud guards, which in hindsight were quite useful yesterday. I got through a whole toilet roll just <laughs> of my goggles. <laughs> Look at the difference in colour. <laughs> How did you find it on these bikes? It was awesome. Great yeah. fun, great fun. I've softened the suspension down a little bit today, a little bit skippy, but it's uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I, I was behind these guys for a bit and uh, not only do the bikes look awesome, they sound really, really good. <laughs> it's been absolutely brilliant. Some stunning views, some stunning places. Kill the forest, absolutely brilliant. Have you done roadbook before? No, it's the first event I've actually done on roadbook and I thought I was going to struggle with it but within about sort of a mile into it, got used to it, and then just followed the route. <laughs> and you managed to win. <laughs> yeah, which was a big, big surprise. So I know a couple of times I got lost, but then stop, you correct yourself, and you get back on route. But I was just blown away that I've managed to do that <laughs> with a minimum of fuss. start understanding on the road book what you need to really pay attention to and yep. what you don't. Yep. So for example, uh, there might be a series of instructions that are literally just telling you, uh, go straight go straight on at the next thing, go straight on in the next thing. And you can kind of um, register those, but you don't really have to kind of pay that much attention. It's when there's a change in direction that you need to focus. And I was chatting to someone over breakfast uh, this morning and he was pointing out that when you see the Dakar boys marking their road books, it's like all that stuff is just green highlighters, so they can glance down and they can, okay, I don't need to pay attention to that. Yeah. And then the other colours are kind of things to actually really highlight. It's almost yeah. what you filter out is as important as what you take in, because yeah. you can't take in all that information, well yeah. I can't. Anyway. <laughs>